It was a wild one in the Bronx as number 10 Fordham had to hold off Holy Cross in overtime on Saturday behind Chase Edmonds for touchdown day. The sophomore back now leads the FCS in rushing touchdowns with 15, and he's second in yards with 1,046 in seven games. Colgate also won on Saturday to improve to 2-0 in the league, and the Rams and Raiders both hold a half-game lead over Idle Lehigh in the league standings. Let's take a look at the highlights from Week 7. Holy Cross came out strong against number 10 Fordham as Peter Foyles connected with Jake Wysorek for a 30-yard score and the 17-7 lead after one quarter. Chase Edmonds responded by scoring two of three straight Fordham touchdowns to take a 27-17 lead into the break. Poyles then tossed a trio of touchdowns in the third quarter, including this 13-yarder to Cleef Raymond to put the Crusaders up 38-34. But Edmonds scored from seven yards out to make it 41-38 at the end of three quarters. It was rather quiet in the fourth quarter until Holy Cross's Zane Wass hit a game-tying 48-yard field goal as time expired to force overtime. In the extra session, after Wass missed a 37-yard field goal for Holy Cross, Edmonds scored his fourth touchdown to lock up the 47-41 win for Fordham. Colgate's James Holland ran for a pair of first-half touchdowns to fuel a 14-0 lead at Georgetown. And Jenna Bowman hit a 39-yard field goal right before the break to make it 17-0 at halftime. Georgetown rallied in the fourth quarter as Kyle Nolan ran for a 10-yard touchdown to cut it to 17-10. And Henry Darmstadter hit his second field goal of the quarter to make it 17-13 with 4.41 left. The Hoya defense came up big on the ensuing drive, forcing a fourth down. But Colgate gambled and Jake Melville just got across the first down line to help lock up the 17-13 win. Bucknell got on the board first at Army West Point, scoring late in the second quarter as R.J. Nitty connected with Will Carter for a 35-yard touchdown to make it 6-0. And after the Black Knights took a 7-6 lead with 152 left, Nitty found Andrew Owens for a 4-yard score to take a 14-7 lead into the break. Army nodded the score at 14 late in the third quarter on A.J. Schur's second touchdown run of the day. And the Black Knights took the lead for good as Edgar Poe outjumped a defender for a 68-yard go-ahead touchdown with 444 left, and Army held on for the 21-14 win. In other non-league action on Saturday, number 18 Harvard's Paul Stanton ran for 123 yards and two of the Crimson's five rushing touchdowns in a 42-0 win at Lafayette. Three Patriot League contests will be on the PLN next weekend, and you can catch all the action live and for free on PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Jimmy Johnson.